Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Let's talk about how to implement sustainable business practices to supersize and grow your business. First off, let's talk about what the heck are sustainable business practices, then talk about the benefits of them and some examples of how you could apply them to your business. And again, you have to tweak it to what your specific business is, as well as a four, well, a five-step process of how to actually implement a sustainable business practices strategy for your business. So first off, let's get my magnifying glass and see what the heck is a sustainable business practice. It is an integration of environmental, social, economic considerations into operational decision-making process. So when we're making decisions and choices of how we're going to run our business and what we're going to do, we consider not just how much money we're going to make or how profitable it's going to be and how much it's going to cost. We think about the environment. We think about the uh, social implications of that project or that way of doing business. We think about just so economic, uh, environmental, as well as social. So what does that mean? And then I'll talk about how do we go about doing that. It means that when we're making choices, we don't just consider the bottom line. We consider other things. Well, why would we want to do that? Well, number one, it enhances our brand. It makes it attracts people to us because they know we're doing the right thing for not just our company, but for the world and the environment and for social development, et cetera. We're not just in it for the money, so to speak. It allows us to save costs. Uh, there's a lot of things that we find when we're doing the right thing, it's actually more cost effective than when we're trying to take shortcuts or do things uh, just to make money. <clears throat> we also uh, realize that it helps us with compliance. There's a lot of regulatory compliance out there in the world, depending on what type industry you're in. I've been in industries that are very highly regulated. So you don't have to cough. <coughs> and it helps you with that. If you're making decisions and they know you're making decisions Holistically, I call them holistically, sustainable is holistic, meaning I take into consideration all the factors, not just one or two factors. Uh, so it helps us with regulation. It helps us get access to capital. Guess what? There's a whole lot more funds available to sustainable businesses and businesses that prove that they're trying to make the world a better place for more than just profitability. So we want to make sure we consider some of those things. So what are some ways that we can be environmentally sustainable? Well, we can... Uh, look for ways to use fewer resources. We can look for ways to create and use renewable resources. We can consider in our packaging, is our packaging recyclable? If it isn't, is there a recyclable option? It might be more expensive in the beginning, but in the long run, it's the if you look at the overall cost and impact, it's probably more profitable than if you go with the cheapest solution first. So those are a couple examples of that. Uh, uh, social responsibility, what are some ways to be socially responsible? Well, be involved in your community, number one. Ask for input from stakeholders and people that might be impacted by your products or services. Uh, diversity and inclusion, of course, fall under this uh, category of social responsibility. And then community development and community involvement. How involved are you and is your business in making your community better? Are you involved at all? Are you sponsoring events? Are you participating in events that are already there, et cetera? And economic viability, why the heck would we want to have sustainable business practices? Well, because it will reduce your operating costs. I, I've seen it time and time again in, in my businesses as well as different businesses. We made changes in our packaging that were better for our customers, better for the environment, better for costs. And so we had win-win-win situations by making choices that impacted more than just us and our bottom line. Uh, we can mitigate risks by taking and looking at the economical viability, economical, economic viability of different choices and decisions that we're making. So how do we go about implementing a sustainable business practice into our decision making? Well, number one, do you have a decision making process at all? If not, that's probably the first place to start. Secondly, and really first of all, you want to conduct a sustainability assessment of your organization. If you're not doing anything to sustain anything and you're just running as you always have, then the first place to start is where are places we could make better economic, social, and environmental choices in the way we operate, the decisions that we make, and the, the things that we do. 
And then we want to set clear and clear goals and targets. What are we shooting for? Are we shooting for, you know, 50% of our business is sustainable or 100% is sustainable by such and such a date, et cetera. <clears throat> and that, that can just be as simple as our first step might be. We are going to add social, economic, and environmental considerations to every decision that we make here at the company. Uh, thirdly, we want to engage stakeholders. We want to get as many different people involved as possible in helping us to make good, sustainable uh, decisions for our business, right? A lot of companies just do their own thing and don't ever consider the impact that it has on even their customers, much less other stakeholders. Uh, fourth, we want to invest in training and education. Why? Number one, we want to train and educate ourselves. I obviously need some training and education on sustainability. Although I do have it built into most of our business practices. Hey, and I don't have to know all of it. There's other people on the teams that are expert at certain areas and aspects, and they help us in decision making. And finally, we want to monitor and measure progress. If we set a goal, doesn't do any good to set a goal if we don't measure are we moving toward making progress toward, on that goal or not. So love to know what are you doing in your organization for sustainability? Do you have sustainability built into your decision making process? Or is it just something you've never thought of before? Share in the comments below. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with another topic on how to supersize and grow your business. The strategies that work, strategies that I've tried that don't, I'll share those too. Because I think we need to learn from one another in order to be more sustainable and more profitable and create the business that we want to create. Have an awesome day. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.